Hi there. Welcome. This is Chris with Peace of Mind. And I am on the third part of my um, mixed media canvas. And we're going to do add the... We finished the background. For now, we may add more to the background in a bit. But we have... We left room for the tabletop and then the wall. I'm going to add the the roses, which I pieced together from various... I, what I did was I fussy cut the roses out of scrapbook paper. And then I glued them kind of together into the arrangement that I wanted. And those are going to go here. And then we're going to have the roses be in a bowl... And that is going to um, be about here. So I roughly drew the bowl on a piece of scrap paper. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the paper out of... I'm going to cut the base out of this paper. I'm either going to use this side or this side. I'm not sure yet which one. But they'll both be the same and I'll show you that in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the bottom of this uh, let me get a, a ruler. No, that one has just metric on it. I'm going to measure the, the size of the bottom, which is two and a half. So I'm going to go one and a fourth. Remember, this is just the pattern, so I can draw on it. I'm going to go one and a fourth. That's the middle. So I'm going to draw a line. And you can make up the base of any kind like this. Or anything that you want to be the same size on both, uh, to be the same on both sides. And you don't have to do this if you if you're if you'd like the look of I mean in art you can have a base that's kind of wonky and not exactly straight. And then I'm gonna fold it along that line. This is just the pattern. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut both sides at once along that line. Let me make that line darker so you can see it. Cut it along that line so that I get my pattern. And I can kind of fix it. It's got a rounded, a little bit of a rounded bottom, which is which is good. Okay, now you can see that the base is the same on uh, on both sides. And I don't I when I when I cover over with the roses with this, I don't want the the rim of the the bowl to show that much, so I'm going to I'll glue I'll, when I glue it down it'll be something something like that. Okay, so I'm going to um, cut the base out of this paper. And I can either draw around it. It's kind of a, a 3D paper or a, a textured textured paper. And I am going to trace around it with a pencil. Hope that I'm able to see this.
Now this one I won't need to fold and I so that so that I won't have a fold in it. And then I can I can save this for some other project if I want later on. I've often used the same base shape on on uh, more than one painting. As a matter of fact, I have a an envelope where I keep base shapes. Okay. I'm gonna cut just a little above this this line just to give myself a little bit of more room. I hope you all are doing well. I'm in Colorado. It's going to be very hot today. It's supposed to be 97. We usually don't get that hot until July or August. Okay, and then here's the bottom of the bowl. Okay. And of course, I can save the rest of this paper. also use this side if I used this side I could um, put a I could put a color on it um, let me try that um, I think I'll try a I'll try this kind of light purple and I'm using my gelato again and I'm rubbing it on here and what that does is it, is it brings out the it's kind of like it's it's raised up and it brings out the the pattern on this kind of a rose pattern I could also do this on the front it's got a little bit of um, like that. Can't really see it that well. The camera. Or I could use this this side. Let's try it on the on the canvas and see see what we think. I've always got my I use my fingers a lot when I'm painting and especially when I'm using these gelatos because it they spread so well with with your fingers. But you can use a brush or or um, take a dry more of a dry wet wipe to do it with. Okay, let's bring this up again. And we decided we we're going to make the the uh, the roses be our focal point. And uh, I notice I kind of have a. I need to cut this a little bit more here. Get that piece of paper off of there. And I did cut a few areas here where. You can see through to the background, which is the wall. So I left some areas cut out. Can you see that? So that it would look more like I painted these roses rather than just glued them together. Okay, let's put this down onto the table. I wish I could have you guys vote so you could say what you thought. Okay. This way. This does kind of make it look more like glass. I 
don't know. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I like this side better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it up here so that I'll know where to put it after I put some Mod Podge on it. Uh, just mark that corner there. Okay, now we'll take my Mod Podge. Put some in the back. Now, uh, as you go, you should be aware that this Mod Podge, it may spread the uh, gelato that you have on the background. It may spread that a bit. To me, that's okay. I don't care. But if you don't want to get any kind of paint on anything that you're gluing down, you just need to be aware of that and and uh, maybe uh, put your glue on a piece of, or just do it on the, the piece of wax paper instead of doing it on top of the canvas like I'm doing it here. Okay. So, I want to put that down where I where I marked it. Now I just have to find it, and I think it's here. So before I glue it completely down, I'm going to put this back on and see. And that's how I wanted it. And you can always a, a good trick while you're painting or drawing or anything. Is to is to get up and stand and look at it while you're standing up, or if you're working out, you, you can also look at it from a distance, so that you can see you can really see it better. Because when you're down working on your your painting or drawing, or really whatever project you're doing, you're just seeing it on that on the one part, and you need to be you need to be seeing it. From a from a distance to really be sure that you've got it the way you want it, and I do. I have it the way I want it. So I'm gonna kind of end this down. Now before I go before I go too much further, I might put somewhat of a of a shadow underneath underneath here I'm covering up part of that dragonfly but that's all right it's okay and I could also do this after I I have it glued down but I just wanted to make sure that shadowing in here okay I tore that a little bit but I'm gonna try to You can also, if, you, if you're having trouble with these edges, a little bit of the glitter glue might help because that really adheres things down. And if it, and the reason I'm having a little bit of trouble with this is because it, it, it is um, more three-dimensional because it has that, that texture on the, on the paper. And um, see the way a little bit of this goes into the vase. I'm gonna kind of get the edges a little bit, just to give it some shadowing. And it's gonna have some shadowing up here because of the uh, the roses. 
that are going to be over it. I'm just doing some shadowing on on the vase so that it doesn't all look the same color the rose like I said the roses will be over the top of that so it'll look like it's underneath like the roses are forming the shadow okay I need some more Mod Podge over here. Okay. Okay, so I got the base down now. This time I need to do the and for this, I think I will move this aside for a moment while I get the back of this ready. Oops. Getting some lobs of Mod Podge come out. That sometimes happens. Let's take that off. You want to make sure you get this uh, pretty much everywhere on on the back. And it's okay if it gets on the front because you're going to be covering over the front with it anyway. You could also use regular uh, um, art glitter glue to glue this down or you could if it was thick or or maybe you use fabric or something then you could you could use the uh, three in one or the fabric tack and glue to glue it to make sure it's glued down well okay so I'm gonna pick this up let it sit for too long I'm grabbing my canvas back up and I know it goes this way. And once again, I don't want it too far down because that would be unnatural for the the roses to fall too far down out of the onto the vase. Okay, so put it down there. And I'm just going to kind of rub it down with my fingers. Make sure I got it down everywhere. And I can go underneath with some more Mod Podge. Oops, it's a bit much. And I'm going over the top of it now with the Mod Podge. What this Mod Podge does is, is, is in between when you put layers on it, is it, is it seals it seals down the top so that if you do put another layer over on the top of it then it's uh, sealed down well so the paint that you put over the top of it won't smear quite as bad with with say this the uh, the background although I'm not really having that that happen yet Let's 
It's looking good. Our next step is going to be to um, try to incorporate the background and the, the roses, the vase of roses, so that they don't look like two separate things. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to bring it. We've already done, we've already done this the stamping of the script on the roses, which is also in the background. And if you haven't done that, you you can as soon as this is dry, then you can do you can do some more of that. Let's make sure that this is down. I'm gonna stand up and look at it. And now would be the time to. repairs if I need to. Okay, really like that. I like the way it's coming along. And uh, I'm just going to give you a few tips now because I want to I want to end this video and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll take a picture of it when it's finished and I'll and I'll post it on the video. So that you can see the finished, the finished product. But I'm going to try to bring in some of the, the background into. First of all, I'm going to try to bring some of this, this blue down into the bottom here. I've already got some brown up in here, so that so that works. And just a little bit of blue. I'm going to put just a little bit of blue in the vase as well. And in the roses. Remember, this is to uh, blend in the um, the background color. You can have big portions of it, or just a little, just a little bit. Going around the the circles that are in the roses. Okay, and I'm going to um, bring in some a little bit of color into the into the roses so they look more painterly so they don't look quite so much like scrapbook paper <laughs> which is what they are so I'm just going around with this this coral color and bringing that into the roses to kind of make them all have a little bit of the same color and I can put it into the leaves of the roses as well maybe a little bit right here I like that. Oh, maybe another pink. This is a little bit of a dark pink. I'm still adding some color. And then we'll be, we'll be finishing up. I can add some of the pink um, to the background as well. Oh, that might be a little bit too, too uh, dark. Let's spread it a little bit. I just like my colors to all be kind of spread. 
Also add some white to this. I, have, I can either use white paint or here's some white. And I'm having some weight up near the top of this table. I don't know why, just to kind of highlight where where the table ends. And let's add some down here as well. And uh, just maybe some squiggles here and there. blend it in whoops like if after you add when you're adding these squiggles if you don't like them then just blend them just blend them in so just about done and of course I can go on and on and add more I'm sure I will after I close this video <laughs> And then I might want to put a layer of uh, uh, Mod Podge over the top of it or varnish. Uh, I'm just going to use the mat. I, I like the, the way the mat looks. I don't like it to be too too very glossy. So, but see, by the way, the way out of that paint to the roses, it makes them look more just a little bit more painterly rather than just cut out of scrapbook paper. So. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you all peace of mind. Bye now.